Hey guys, what's up? Um, I want to talk to you about Andrew Yang. If you haven't seen my live stream about him, please go and watch that. I gave most of the information that I know about him there. This is more about something I'm upset with with the DNC. With my research on Andrew Yang, one of the things that I guess sort of attracted me to him besides his policies is I learned there's been a huge media blackout on him and I don't understand why and they've just been doing some really shady stuff it seems like they're trying to push people like Yang and Cory Booker and others out of the race like there hasn't been a qualifying Poe in over 45 days and one of the things you have to do to qualify for the next debate is come in at 4% in at least 4 pose, I think it was, or 7% in 2 pose. Yet, most of the people, a lot of the people that's following Yang now, they only found out about him really at the last debate, because the last debate is the first time he really got a chance to really talk. And they have not done a pose since before the last debate. And so far, he's only got one qualifying Poe, because they haven't done one. And he's already got over a, a, over a million, a million unique um, donors. And he was supposed to, he only needed 200,000 unique donors. That right there should say something. And he's raised more money, double the money that he needed this quarter than he did last quarter. That too should say something. It just really makes me feel like, like the DNC, it makes me feel like we're not picking our candidate. It makes me feel like the DNC already knows who they want to run against Trump. That they want either Biden or Elizabeth Warren and those are the only two candidates that we need to be watching and we need to worry about because that's who they're going to make run whether we like it or not and that's how I feel about it and that's kind of what happened last time I mean really I, I I went for a third party candidate last time but I also noticed the favorite on the Democratic side was Bernie Sanders and he should have been the one going up against Trump last time. That stuff, that was straight up snatched from him because the DNC wanted Clinton. Not the people. The DNC wanted Clinton. And guess what? The DNC lost because they didn't listen to the people. And here's my thing. Gang is the one and only candidate that will actually be able to beat Trump. Why? Because he's not insulting people that follow Trump. He's not insulting Trump. He's not insulting people's intelligence that voted for Trump. He's getting the attention of Republicans. He's getting the attention of the swing voters. He's getting the attention of uh, Trumpsters who no longer want to be Trumpsters. He can get the votes that the other candidates cannot get. Why? Because he wants to solve the actual issues. He's not blaming all of our problems on freaking Donald Trump. He's not. He's blaming it on where the blame really goes. People not having jobs. Everything I talked about in my other video. He's put he's he's looking at what got Donald Trump elected in the first place. And I kind of feel like I I'm not a Trumpster personally and I kind of feel like, you know, like those in charge wanted Trump in charge. Now just stay with me for a minute. That they wanted Trump in charge because he was such he started so much crap when he was running and they knew he would continue it and they wanted him to do a bad job why because he wasn't a politician and during the last elections it was made very clear that people are tired 
of long-term politicians because they're not doing their damn job. They're not taking care of the people like they're supposed to. And I think they were trying to use Trump to get people to turn back towards long-term politicians. Because the DNC, DNC is still pushing these long-term politicians down our friggin' throats. And you know what Yang is? He's not a politician. He's a businessman. And a smart one. So freaking smart, as a matter of fact, that the Prime Minister of uh, South Korea read his book and said not only would Yang make a good leader for America, he would make a good leader for the world. Now that's an endorsement, okay? Because people that listen to him and listen to what he has to say and takes a look at his book, at his statistics, at his numbers, it makes sense. And I don't care. I've seen him on uh, MSNBC and on, what was the other one, um, ABC and, you know, these Democratic news stations. And i also seen him on Fox. There is something up. When a Democrat goes on Fox and then goes on Democratic news stations and gets treated with more respect on the Republican news station than he did on the Democratic news station. And it feels like he's being pushed out on purpose and it makes me mad. It feels like I'm not being heard. It feels like the rest of the Yang gang's not being heard. Like we're just being told our opinions don't matter. They got the candidates that they want. They've qualified them and that's all that matters. As long as they got Warren and Biden up there, that's all they care about. All the other candidates can just go because they want the old white man who they've already got in their pocket and they want the woman because we gotta have a woman president again someone else that's already in their pocket what are they hiding what are they hiding that they don't want Andrew Yang to find out about what are they hiding that's what I want to know what are they hiding what are you hiding Democratic Party what are you hiding DNC why won't you give Yang a chance? Because he's not a politician? What are they hiding? And that's what I want to know. I don't know. It's just irked me. Because as is, he's about to hit that $3 million go. As a matter of fact, his supporters have upped it. And they're trying to get him $4 million because he hadn't hit his deadline yet. And just to make him look all that much more better to the DNC. And here's my message to the DNC. Until you start treating our man, Andrew Yang, right. And like these top tier freaking candidates. All of us Yang gangers. We're going to be a thorn in your butt. Period. Period. I have not seen another candidate get hashtags for their candidate trending like the Yang Gang. The only one I've actually seen is I've seen one from Sanders. That's it. You know, the person you wanted to kick out of the race the last time. Probably because he's not in your pocket. So yeah, that's all I want to talk about. And if you have not seen anything regarding Yang, I urge you to look into him. People are turning on a dime for him for a reason. For a reason. Not just Democrats, Republicans are turning towards him, independents, anybody that looks into his actual policies and such are turning towards him except for actual people that work for the DNC and people in the media that control the DNC side of the media yet the Republican side of the media they like him and independent news sources and podcasts they all like him too It don't make sense to me. That makes sense to me one bit. So yeah, 
that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, let me know what you think about this down below. If you haven't heard of Yang, go check him out. Uh, Yang2020.com, that's his website. He literally has all his policies and his plans lined out on his website. And I will see you guys later. Love ya. Peace. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.